From my smartphone to yours, I'm Love Casting live in the Serious Joy Garden Studios in a very windy Costa Mesa, California, and this is your Monday Namaste Today. Good morning and namaste and welcome to Namaste Today. My name is Chris Rotecki. I'm your host and psychic astrologer here to stand in my heart and help others come into theirs. This webisode is for Monday, November 16th, 2015. And it is a very windy day here on Monday in Costa Mesa. In fact, I think it's really representative of the collective consciousness and all the changes and powerful changes that we have going on. I've got my Obi-Wan with techie robes and I am listening to the force. <laughs> now, if you watch, I mean, if you're plugged in, a lot of my viewers actually don't watch any news, so they don't even know, but we had a major terrorism attack in Paris uh, over the weekend. It's kind of hard not to know that, but you know, kudos to you if you can unplug from that kind of energy. My heart uh, and compassion to the victims of that. Uh, and I'm, you know, not 100% surprised. I mean, I was expecting something really uh, shifty to happen in the end of Scorpio that would turn the earth around. In fact, I believe that I predicted that a number of times that I felt that something would happen in the end of Scorpio. That's because we're really setting up the Saturn in Sagittarius transit. On the other side of the weekend, I thought it was fascinating to watch the Democratic national debates. I was doing live tweeting during it and supporting uh, Mr. Sanders, of course, uh, but I thought it was fascinating. And I give uh, uh, Sa Sanders credit for just laying some of these issues on the table that, that Wall Street is corrupt and that finance reform is corrupt. Just speaking honestly about it as a nation, I'm so happy. I thought that was a breakthrough as well. So powerful breakdown, breakthrough weekend internationally. For you, how was it? I believe in the next few days, each of us, indiv individually and privately, will be making a personal emotional decision about where we now feel comfortable about something. You can be playing this out in a relationship, whether or not to relocate, um, a, a job change, a career change, the end of a contract, the beginning of a contract. Basically, it's the beginning and the end of something, but it probably represents something very deep and very powerful for the individual. And I'll be sharing for myself, I think, what mine is, you know, just to share so we can talk about it. But what's significant about this is uh, astrologers will tell you that we have been mulling over our personal emotional boundaries for a couple of years now with Saturn in Scorpio. The planet Saturn in Scorpio means that the human collective is uh, going through its phase of clearing out its boundaries. Now that the sun is in Scorpio and Saturn has left, this is the final cherry on top. The final, final, final cherry of all that cumulative work emotionally of where the line should be drawn. And so here in the next four days, people will draw that final line. Now, what's also interesting is as of today, the sun is beginning to conjunct Saturn in Sag, which means that this final line for us is also directly attached to the new fresh perspective of belief. So Saturn is cracking open new belief in Sagittarius. And I think, again, this weekend... Uh, is a very uh, is a very powerful example. For one, uh, you know, at this point, the rising, you know, at this point, the France is at war. At this point, uh, you know, terrorism is not going to be, you know, it, it was a it was a line that went too far. It changed Paris and France's belief about what they were going to do. So you can just see right there where a breakdown led to a new belief, right? But I also think too, even with looking at the democratic national debates, I think that we were speaking very honestly about some of the sickness this country has uh, and its corruption, and I think it's leading to new beliefs. So in yourself, you know, they both, you know, people are no longer comfortable with terrorism, terrorism, no longer comfortable with corruption, or no longer comfortable with something in the world. You are probably no longer comfortable with something in your life. It probably has plagued our entire lives back to the 80s and, the, uh, and, and the last time Saturn was in Scorpio. But the point is, everyone on Earth, I think, just like you saw with Paris, just like we saw with you know, politics, I think that because we are no longer comfortable with something or because we now are comfortable with something, 
we will now point to a new belief. A belief that terrorism is not acceptable, a belief that corruption in government is not acceptable, a belief that you can't base finance on a stock market, which is basically uh, legalized gambling. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we have our entire economy based on legalized gambling. That's what I've always kind of joked about. Like, really? Let's just spin the wheel and see if we're going to win this year, you know? So let's talk about today's topic, which is getting serious about where we belong. I want to help you understand the nature of step 24 and how you understand where you belong. Because today with step 24 ruling the day, what people are really processing and mulling over is, do I belong here? Do I belong being treated this way by terrorists? Do I belong, do, do I belong in a country that's going to cheat? You know, do I belong in a relationship where the person's going to cheat? Do I belong, you know, cheating on this person when really I should be honest? You know, like people are going to be asking these questions in the next 24 hours. It's not something you haven't thought about before because I think with all this energy in Sun, Sun and Saturn and Scorpio, I think we've all thought about it before. The difference is, according to at least what I can tell with the planets, this is your last chance. You better be honest today and tomorrow about where you really feel you belong and not lie to yourself. Now, the way you get there is the architecture of incarnation, step 24. First of all, you have to be honest with how you feel. Okay, so a lot of people have a hard time being honest with how they feel. That takes a certain maturity. For those who are super young, you know, you may not be able to be honest. But most of us are honest. We can't tell people, but we're honest, right? So you have to be honest with how you feel. Then the four is asking those same feelings. Okay, well, do we belong here? Here, 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 here? You basically have to ask the feelings where you belong. Now, this will resonate with your feelings <clears throat> or this will not resonate with your feelings, it will not be logical. There will be no evidence. God will not strike through the clouds and speak to you directly. And, and your tortilla will not speak to you in the morning for breakfast either. Like, you will have to feel if it feels right. And there will be no guarantee and no evidence. This is what we call spiritual mastery, my friend. And if you're not ready, we'll hold back and watch. Okay? Like, if you are ready, go for it. But I think this is a powerful time because I think if people allow themselves to be where they don't feel they belong they're gonna be in trouble here in the next chapter. So let's move to today's five o'clock question. Today's five o'clock question actually builds on the question I gave you Friday, which is I said, hey, what do you believe you were born to do? What do you believe you were born to do? And I said, I think I, I was here to help people in the re-evolution of humankind. And I said, I think I'm here to help that process. I've always known that, but I think it's starting to speed up now, so it's getting significant, <laughs> okay? So today's follow-up question is, does your heart feel that it belongs wherever it is you believe you're born to do? So do I feel I belong with the re-evolution? And that's pretty obvious. Yes, I do. Right? Do you feel, you may say I was born to be a doctor. Do you feel you belong in, in OR? Do you feel you belong in ER? Do you feel you belong in scrubs? Okay, like those are the questions. Look, feel this wind, it's amazing. So that's the first question. Now, sometimes people say they're born to do this, but then when they really start to feel if they belong there, they're like, no, I don't really think I belong there. And that's where, oh, your mind thought you were born to do this. But if you ask your feelings and your belonging, mm -mm, right? So the follow-up to the follow-up is, therefore, if you feel you do belong one place, where do you not belong? So the interesting thing I had in my own meditation over the weekend was that um, I realized that belonging has two polarities. You either belong or don't belong. It's very black and white, I realized. And in, in duality, my understanding of spiritual duality is whenever you define one hemisphere of a duality, you immediately define the other hemisphere. Therefore, if you're stuck on one of the two, it's kind of like process of elimination. You can define one, which will immediately expose the other. Does that make sense? So the point is, you know, you may not know where you belong, but you may know where you don't belong. And I think every human being needs to be clear about where they belong or where they don't belong in the next 24, 36 hours. We're going to be getting there. Uh, and I think we'll be committing to that here by the end of the week, as I look ahead of the week. Now, here's the magic formula. It's so cool. It's, it's the architecture of incarnation. Two, I feel, plus four, I belong, equals six, I receive. If your heart can open up to receive, if you feel it easy breezy, then you're in the right place. You do belong there. If you are surrounded by people and your heart can't open up to receive, you don't belong there. 
That's not a problem of protections and boundaries. That's a problem of being in the wrong place at the wrong time, which is what belonging is, space-time kind of uh, mapping of where we are. So if it's easy breezy, you made the right choice. Now, a lot of times easy breezy is not easy breezy for the rest of the world, like your mom won't like it and your dad won't like it and these people won't like it, uh, but too bad. If it's easy breezy to you, that's where you belong. And I think this is going to lead to us all having a change of belief in the next five days. So before we dive into the next five days and send you off on your windy way, let's first ask my guides what's going on today. I had to handhold the mic because it was like being in a wind tunnel and see what they have to add. Okay, so what comes right up is Mercury. Interesting. So um, today is, you know, Mars and Venus are basically in the early stages of Libra, which means, you know, when the sun was in Libra, we talked about how it was a new deal for ourselves in our mirages. And we talked about how we're going to have a new relationship with ourselves and thumbs up, we're going to do it. Well, now it's time to do it. <laughs> okay, like that's basically what it is. And so uh, my guides are saying to be mindful of, to be, to be very mindful, set in your mind about how you're going to be to yourself. How are you going to treat yourself? Everything else is up for uh, negotiation once you get there. But it's like, I'm going to treat myself this way, and that's it. So if you don't know where you belong, you should know how you're going to treat yourself. If you don't know where to draw the line, you should know how to treat yourself. All right? The other thing that comes up today is the moon is in the high degrees of Capricorn. This means that people's feelings um, are mulling mulling over control, mulling over feeling trapped, mulling over feeling withheld. I'd said this already on Friday, but this continues today. Um, it's time to change the rules. This is what the re-evolution is. This is Pluto at step 13. This is the point where our system cracks. Pluto's at step 13. And this is the crack right now. So what we're having with the terrorism, what we're having with uh, Donald Trump, what we're having with Bernie Sanders, these outsiders that are, that are changing you know, the political game, this is the crack of our foundation. Therefore, if you're trapped, it may not be that uh, there's anything wrong with you. It may be that we need to change the rules. And that's going to be the theme. So today, emotionally, um, you might, you know, today emotionally, people are feeling trapped and people are coming out of that by realizing they're going to have to spear up their own rules. Or I think uh, feeling trapped also leads to a new belief about how it'll be, which is the beginning of Sun and Saturn. In fact, that's how I'm going to close this now. They're giving me a little... Um, yeah. So basically, in the next 24 hours, you know, we're not just... Because the Sun is beginning to conjunct Saturn, they're, immediate, they're, they're intimately tied. Basically, the boundaries that make things easy breezy, the boundaries that make things flow easy... That's the philosophy you write a me religion around. It's not that we will find a belief or we will find wisdom that points to what works. It's that we will discover what works and we will build our wisdom. And that's how they want to end this one. So that's a good way to end. Well, my friends, I'm so grateful for you. Uh, come on down to my personal website at soulgarden.tv and leave a comment. I'm starting to meet people. I kind of feel like uh, back when I was a kid, you could go shake the hand of the guy who or the woman who would give a church, a little church thing. You could shake their hand. And, and now when people give comments, I feel like I'm at the door shaking your hand. So thanks a lot. Also, you can follow me on Twitter if you want to get some serious alerts at CUATECHI. And lastly, if you want to be part of the Facebook group that we're all part of, come on down to soulgarden.me. Have a fantabulous, windy Monday, my friends. Stay connected to your heart. Be clear in where you belong. And don't be afraid. You're not alone. You have me and everyone that watches this show for one. And that was Bella just now <laughs> to help you. Until tomorrow, remember I love you and live, love, be.